Hi students, welcome to our science class. Our chapter name is Safety and First Aid. In the last class, we started this chapter and discussed some of the topics about the fire and the causes that lead to getting fire. These are the things we discussed in the last class. What are the things we said? It may be because of the unsafe, unsafe use of matchsticks or fireworks like different things. That means the unsafe use of the different things that is leads to fire. And then we discussed that because of the electric, electrical short. Then we said that the gas leakage, etc. These are some of the points that we discussed in the last class. That is the causes for getting fire. So, that we concluded in the last class. Now we are going to discuss how we can prevent this fire or getting fire. That we are going to discuss... Prevention. How we can prevent the possibilities? We can prevent the possibilities by handle the matchsticks handle the matchsticks candle then the gas stove Gas stove, etc. Handle the matchsticks, candle, gas stove, and all carefully. We want to handle this carefully. Very simple point. The next is this avoid synthetic clothes. Synthetic, synthetic clothes in kitchen. What is this synthetic clothes? Synthetic clothes means the clothes like polyester, nylon, etc. So, when we wear such type of clothes, what happens? It have high tendency to catch fire. So, that's why we are saying that in the kitchen we want to use cotton clothes and avoid the synthetic clothes. Synthetic clothes means nylon clothes or polyester clothes. That is the next point. Then, and also there is one thing. This will increase the rate of getting fire. That means these clothes are getting burned faster than the cotton clothes. That's why we are saying. And also one thing is that it start melting and getting pets on our body very fast for this synthetic clothes. And for the cotton, there is no such problems other. The next point is this, do not wear loose, do not wear loose clothes in kitchen or near the fire. What happens when we wear loose clothes, it gets fire very faster. So we are saying that do not wear loose clothes near fire or in kitchen. Now, in the last class, we said that for this uh, electric circuits and the wires, they get fire with the short circuit and all. For that, for avoiding such cases, we want to check electric wiring daily. For in regular basis, we want to check the electric wiring. That means we want to check have any problems with the wiring and all. And if they have any problems, what happens? It will the occurs the short circuit and then start getting fire. That is the thing. And the next point is this about the gas leakage. Sometimes the occurs gas leakage. How 
we can prevent the case of getting fired? We can prevent it by do not use matchstick, candle or switches. That means do not use electric switch etc. when the gas is getting leak. When we use the matchstick candle so switch on or off what happens? The produce a spark and that leads to the fire. So the thing is this when the occurs a gas leakage do not use do not use matchstick candles and switch and all. And also if the occurs gas leakage we also want to do one thing open open the door and windows open the door and windows to escape the gas from this region that means we want to open the door and windows to escape the air or the gas from the area that is the next point and also we can say that we are using the firecrackers in the Vishu Diwali and all. So don't use these firecrackers by the children and be careful about these firecrackers. These are all some of the methods of prevention with this getting fire. I think it's clear for you very simple points. In this region no need of making by hurting all these things. Actually this chapter is aiming for the awareness for these children. So read this, understand the meaning and you are free to write these points in your own words. The thing is that you want to understand what here talking. So the prevention is here over. Now the next is fire fighting. That is the headache. Fire, fire fighting. What is this fire fighting meaning? The fire fighting here we are going to discuss what things to do when the getting fire. That is the thing. What we can do or how we can escape from such a situation that we are talking in this area. The first point is this when paper or wood when paper or wood is getting burned, how we can stop fire? And for stopping fire, we have one term and that is extinguish. Extin extinguish fire. When we are saying we want to extinguish the fire, that means we want to stop the fire. That is the meaning of this extinguish. So, when the paper or wood is getting burned, how we can extinguish the fire? We can extinguish the fire by adding some water or throwing some water on this or over this. Here, what we are using? We are using water for extinguish fire. That is the first point. The next question is, is it possible to extinguish all type of things getting burned? Can we extinguish using the water? That is the next question. For example, what about the petrol if the petrol is getting fire? And how we can extinguish it? Is it okay to use water? Not at all okay. And when we add water to that, what happens? They start getting fire more faster. So, for the burning occurs due to petrol. We can extinguish this fire by using using sand or mud. We can throw sand or mud on this fire that is caused by the petrol. And we are not using water. We never use water for this. The reason is this, this petrol is lighter than water. Petrol is lighter, petrol is lighter than water. 
reason that because of this reason we are not using water for extinguishing. So you just want to remember when it is the case of petrol, then we are using sand or mud to extinguish fire. And we are not using water. And the reason is this petrol is lighter than water, and that's why we are not using water for extinguishing fire because of this petrol. That is the second point. Now we are moving to the third point. We already said that sometimes the fire may catch on our clothes. Then what we have to do? Is it okay to run? Never. We never run if the fire is on the clothes. We want to roll on the floor. Roll on the ground or roll on the floor. And never run. When we run, what happens? Then it will burn faster. So never run when the fire is on our clothes and we want to roll on the ground to stop this fire. And also there is having another thing. Cover the body with a blanket. If there is a blanket available, just cover body with blanket. Cover body with body with blanket. That is the next point. And the next point is this. Is caused due to electric circuit. We already said. Then how we can stop that? Is it okay to throw water? Never. It is a very bad method of stopping and it will harm us also. So when the fire is caused by the electricity and we can say it as short circuit. How we can stop this? We can stop by throw some sand or mud. And also never use water. Never use water. If we use water, what happens? When we use water, then we get electric shock. And that will also harm us. So, never use water to stop the fire or extinguish the fire which is the awkward through the short circuit. And also you want to do one thing that switch off the main switch. <coughs> switch off main switch as soon as possible. Switch off the main switch as soon as possible. When we switch off the main, what happens? Then the flow of electricity will stop and that is okay. So, you want to remember when there is the fire occurs due to the short circuit, you want to switch off the main switch as soon as possible. That is the first thing you want to do. And never use water to quench the fire and also throw sand or mud if it is necessary. And this is all about the firefighting. In this region, we discussed about what things we want to do when the book is fire. And I hope it's clear. You want to read your textbook, this region. And now we are moving to the next topic and that is first aid. Again, repeating, in this region, it is not aiming to by heart. You just want to read these poems. Understand what the meaning is and you can write the things in your own words. The next is first state. What is this first state? Whenever an accident occurs, whenever an accident occurs, what happens? The injury the injured person must get immediate medical help. Immediate 
medical help before reach hospital so the first aid is that whenever an accident occurs the injured person must get immediate medical help before reaching hospital that is what first aid and so for that we have to know what first aid want to give for particular cases and for different accidents or different injuries we are giving different types of first aid and in your previous classes that means in your fourth standard and all you already discussed some of the things related to this and now we are going to discuss the further things about this first aid and also when we are giving first aid sometimes that will make the injury prevent prevent to getting worse sometimes this first aid prevent injury to getting worse that means when we are giving first aid that will help the injured person to be better and also in some cases when they get first aid may help to save their lives save their lives so actually this first aid is very important thing and that is having its own role for one injured person so we want its own awareness about this first aid so in your syllabus in this year we are dealing with some different types of injury and all that about the fracture fracture is the sprain is the burn is the animal bite these are the things it is there in your syllabus so now today we are going to discuss about the burn and the further things we will discuss in the next class today we discussed already with the fire and all that's why we are discussing about the burn and this we will discuss in the next class so the burn how this burn causes for a person how it is caused burn what we already know we get this burn from the fire we already said that which are the other cases that we affected this burn the other cases are steam boiling water hot oil etc these are some of the cases that we are getting burn so fire steam boiling water hot oil etc so you want to remember these examples or different cases where we are getting burnt fire steam boiling water hot oil etc now we are going to discuss the different kinds of burn there are different kinds of burn occurs so the different kinds of burn are the first one is this minor burn minor burn minor burn the second one is this severe burn severe severe burn and also the third one is this that is chemical burn chemical burn so these are the three types of different types of burn first is minor burn second one is severe burn and the third one is chemical burn now we are going to discuss in detail what is this minor burn what is this severe burn and what is this chemical burn these are very simple just understand what is this and what is this minor burn minor burn 
this minor bird means small bird and this is affected to the outer layer outer layer of skin this is affected to the outer layer of skin actually our skin is having number of layers and this minor bird is affected to our outer layer very simple bird and also what we are doing when the outer bird occurs we want to do this for the bird area should be kept should be kept under water we want to put the bird area under water and then what happens then we will get some relief that means where the minor bird occurs we want to add water or we want to keep this bird area to the running water that is the first point and one thing is that we want to use the cold water we want to use cold water the next is this apply antiseptic cream apply antiseptic on the burnt part why we are using this antiseptic cream we are using antiseptic cream to avoid the infections we are applying the antiseptic cream to avoid infections and also want to get dry the wounds that's we are using the antiseptic cream basically we are using to avoid the infections and to kill the germs that is attacked for this bird so these are the things we want to do and also we can do one thing put ice piece put ice piece never put the ice piece straight to the bird but we are using that just take a piece of kerchief and then put this ice pieces in the kerchief and then hold it in the around the burned region that we are doing just take a kerchief put the ice piece and hold this kerchief and then put around the wounded region or the minor burn region so this is all about the minor burn in this region you want to remember this minor means small and that is goes to the outer layer of skin only the outer layer not affected to the inside of our skin and here we want to use cold water to get relief and add antiseptic cream and also we can use ice pieces that that we can kept in the handkerchief this is all the thing we are discussing in the minor bird the next is severe bird severe bird severe bird what is this severe bird means this severe bird means something serious actually which is more effective than the minor so here when the person is getting severe burn the first thing we want to do is take this person to the hospital or to the doctor immediately we want to consult a doctor immediately when the occurs severe burn that means here the burn occurs not only for the outer surface it is getting affected to the inner region of our body also that's why we are saying that consult doctor immediately and also here needs special care needs special care for severe burn and in such cases we are reaching to the doctor and so we want to avoid the cases of getting infections avoid cases of infections that means this infection means the attack of germs attack of germs insects dust etc so we want to avoid the case of infections and 
therefore that we are just covering this region with a clean cloth before getting near to the doctor and we are not saying that we want to cover it for a long time it will affect badly and just saying that we are we want to immediately bring this person to doctor before that for that small duration of time we are just covering this region with a clean cloth for avoiding the infections that is about the severe burn in this region you want to remember that this severe burn is something very critical like that that is the severe burn and the last type of burn is chemical burn actually what is this chemical burn means that it is there in the name itself chemical burn chemical burn what is this chemical burn chemical burn means the burn occurred because of the chemicals the burn caused due to the chemicals what is this chemicals one example for the chemical is acid acid so this chemical burn is caused by chemicals like acid or something so that is what chemical burn and how we can do the first aid for this we can do the first aid as wash the affected area wash the affected area with plenty of water here we are talking about clean water so we want to wash the affected area with plenty of water why we are doing this to eliminate the chemicals from that region to wash away the chemicals so the burn occurs due to the chemicals so what we want to do is but the first thing we want to do is to wash the affected area with plenty of water to wash away the chemicals from the burn and the next thing we want to do is immediately consult the doctor immediately consult doctor so these are the things we want to do with the chemical burn so we discussed about three different kinds of burn minor burn severe burn and chemical burn so in this region you want to study three types of burn then the names of that types and what are the simple first aids we want to do that are the things you want to focus in this region and now today we are going to conclude our class and in the next class we will discuss about the fracture sprain and animal bite now it's enough for today we discussed about the prevention and the things about the fire and also we discussed about the first aid what is first aid and also how we can give first aid for the burns these are today's topic and you want to read your textbook three four times and we will meet in the next class with the further topics thank you